Right people, after building that electric scooter, which is now completed, um, I'm going to convert this into an electric bicycle. Yes, I hear you say, oh no, you're going to ruin a 400 quid bike. No I'm not. I've just ordered a 1000 watt um, brushless hub front wheel, complete front wheel with all the speed controller and the twist grip and the battery meter and everything. If it turns up, it's meant to be from the UK, £140, including the tyre. Um, I've already made the battery pack, which is there. Just waiting for the shrink wrap for that one, so I've actually got two. That one's uh, 16 and a half amp power. So what I'm going to do, uh, it's difficult to do this, oh, right, here we go. I've drilled a hole here, which is going to hold my mount for my battery. I'm having some aluminium coming across here and then down to this brake um, bolt here. I'm going to put a longer bolt in and extend it so it's going to be basically an aluminium frame going across there. Hopefully. How simple was that? One hole, it's aluminium this frame so it's very lightweight this bike. I don't know how much it weighs, probably 10 kilograms, maybe a bit more. So that's basically got a bolt with a wing nut on the other side. Um, that's obviously me horizontal piece. I'm just going to mark that off now and cut it level with that that bolt there, which is going to support this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, mother. Well, that's the battery tray complete. Not had to damage the frame either. Just put a bolt through an existing hole. Um, I have had to drill through frame on seat post to all that on, but hey ho, it's only a small hole. That not look very pretty. However, the battery is going to sit on top. 30 amp. Brilliant, can't wait. And that's roughly where the battery's going to sit. Just need to make a case for it now. Don't need to make a um, black fabric case cover for it. Right, chaps, the conversion kit's turned up today, about five days later. Um, that's the brand. I'm not advertising for it, I'm just warning you. Now then, this bike I'm fitting it to is a Carrera. The first problem I come across, you have to excuse focus because it makes a racket, where the bolt, the spindle goes onto the forks, it wouldn't fit. Look, this is aluminium so I've had to use um, a drill bit and widen at the forks for it to fit. Uh, the second, obviously I've had to adjust the disc brake. The third, the tyre is as thin as a thin pork sausage compared to the back one. Um, the spokes are silver, which I didn't realise, and the spokes on the back are black. Uh, what else? Uh, and the tyre wasn't attached to the, the wheel. You to, you've got to put your tyre on yourself. You do get the inner tube. Um, however, it was just tied in a figure of eight bloody knot where your tyre wrap was the tyre. Um, so it's got a couple of kinks in the tyre. I'll probably change tyre. If this does work, I'll probably change tyre, mask it up and spray it spokes to match the back wheel. So yeah, you have got to do a bit of fannying around. Um, but yeah, we're only 140 quid. Uh, it comes with all the all the bits, the speed controller, your twist grip, and your brake levers. I'm not sure what they're for. I think it's something to do with brake lights. However, I cannot put these on this bike because my brake levers are attached to the gear levers. So that shag that then. You also get a crank sensor um, to enable obviously power assist. Now you get this ring. Right, can you see? How the hell are you supposed to attach that to that? There's no bolts, screws, anything. You, that's got to go on there, and this sensor wheel, well, you tip and it goes over the top, and then your crank goes back on, your pedal. How the hell do you fasten that on there? Eh? You're supposed to do with that? Oh, and did I mention the book is absolutely useless? On here it shows a hole in it so you can bolt it to something. The one that comes has got nothing on it at all. 
it's basically a ring so the only option I've got is to glue it on I'm just going to use a hot glue gun just for now and then try to work out how I'm going to fix it on I can't weld it because it's aluminium frame and I don't want to be welding around my crank and it's completely different you can see that little nut thing there it hasn't even got that hole in it it's just a circle with a sensor on it absolutely instructions are diabolical yeah so as you can see it's completely different to the one in the book no bolt holes no brackets it's just a ring does it just like all there with gravity or what anyway I've got glued it on um, I'm gonna have to just work out how to fasten it on permanently I just don't know no idea right so basically it goes like that if it works yes I'm a bit angry um, it could have been a bit a bit better build my next challenge is to fit the grips what's come with it and in order to get these off the that tight I'm gonna have to cut them off so I'm hoping the new ones are gonna actually fit right another problem where this goes you see this button here well this bike's got gear shifts here and there in order for that to clear this whatever button it is right you've got to set this right back which makes look where your brake lever is you could still do it but it's a bit of a I better show you don't I? It's a bit of a stretch I mean you know what I mean look at that so in order to change your gears you've got to move this move your brake lever that way another design fault right the moment of truth um, the plugs on it's on the correct polarity I shall double check before I plug it in there's the battery pack I made earlier um, I've run the cables Ooh, nearly go on go on go on fall I don't edit me you know right I've run the cables along the frame underneath underneath here and it goes into the battery pack blah 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 let's plug it in right it's plugged in but I'm noticing something dodgy there we've got an LED what's not lit and lit, and lit up and I'm surmising that that should be lit up that should be lit up that should and that should um, so yeah there's a digit missing so that will be reported to eBay right that's it been out and tested it um, yeah it's a bit of a ball ache to build it um, you've got to do a few adjustments and that's just on this bike so finishing off uh, the crank sensor thing does work as it is it goes like a bloody rocket I've just been clocked nearly 40 mile an hour coming down my street which is absolutely mental um, I do need to make a uh, fit a fatter tire on the front because it does tend to wheel spin um, so yeah and that segment on the handlebars is correct I'll just show you that bottom one turns red that bottom one turns red I don't know if you can see it but that one there turns red for the empty it doesn't light up until it's, it starts when you accelerate if you, if you give it too much it will go onto the red line um, so yeah it's difficult to film this because I'm on my own um, we just turn that focus off but yeah tell you what I'll just put it there on the floor it's not very professional but you'll know what I mean right we're on give it a bit of a, a twist and you can probably see the goes like the clappers and burns a hole in curtains but yeah it's brilliant yes goes like the clappers so for 140 quid after a lot of mourning um, it doesn't seem too bad I'm just waiting to, f uh, to finish my second battery pack because I'm having two in parallel at back so I'll have 32 amp hour so it should uh, I've just done a what have I done a three mile constant using battery constant drive um, not a fault no problems at all absolutely brilliant um, but yeah like I say yeah I fitted it to this Carrera so whatever bike you fit it to just make sure you measure it all is good thanks for watching